So for problem uh, 9.2-6, the cylindrical portion of the compressed air tank is fabricated of steel plate and that is welded along a helix that makes an angle of alpha equals 70 degrees with respect to the longitudinal axis of the tank. The inside diameter of the cylinder is 50 inch. The inches, the wall thickness is 0.5 inch. The internal pressure is 250 psi. Determine the following quantities of the cylindrical portion of the tank, the axial stress and the hoop stress. B, the normal stress and the shear stress of the plane parallel to the perfect and perpendicular to the weld, the maximum in-plane shear stress, and the absolute maximum shear stress. Okay, so, um, you know, this is a little upgraded than the usual question that we do. Uh, it's a new, you know, the information that we learn is about the axis and the hoop stress that we, uh, sorry, and learn we in chapter nine, and we're adding moral circle, which is from chapter five, on to, uh, chapter eight on top of this, right? Which is from the previous chapter. Um, well, it depends on what books you're using, but at least this is the mechanics material, uh, fourth edition, by Craig. Yeah. Okay, so axis stress and hoop stress. That's pretty easy. That's what you learned this this chapter, right? Um, so A equals PR2T, and then H is PRT, right? Or just A times 2. Okay, so what do we have? We have diameter is 50, so remember to divide it by 2, right? Give us R, which is uh, 25 inches. Okay, now we have everything that we, uh, that we need. Uh, 250, so A is 250 times 25 inch PSI over to T, which is uh, 0.5 inch, right? This is going to give you, we're finding what A, A is 6,250 PSI, and which makes H double the value, which is 12,500. Excuse me, yeah, PSI. Okay, and we just finished. Um, we just finished uh, uh, part A, right? This is all part A. Okay, let's now do part B. What is part B? The normal stress and the shear stress on plane parallel and perpendicular to the weld. Okay, um, before we do that, we sort of have to know that we're gonna, I'm gonna use the moral circle um, just because. Uh, so in the motor circle, there's always three stresses, right? There's the, you know, the stress one, which is the maximum bigger than equals to intermediate, bigger or equal to the stress minimum. Okay. So what is one? One is we calculated to be this, right? Which is H intermediate. It doesn't really matter. So far, we can just say is 250, right? Which is A. This is H, right? And then the smallest one. The smallest one is Actually, there's another stress causing or happening in this, right? In this tank is the internal force, is the, sorry, the internal uh, stress, which, you know, the pressure 250 PSI, right? And the outside pressure, I think it was 13.4 PSI. But, you know, just looking at these two and even you add them together, they're not even like 10% of what's this is like not even five percent right of the intermediate and especially the maximum so it's almost zero that we can just ignore it and just say oh it's zero um just because right so we can just write zero over there and now let's move on to let's see what do i what do i want to do this maybe over here um Okay, so maybe, yeah. Okay, that's maybe. Okay, perfect. Now it's right in the middle. Oh my gosh. All right. So this is tau shear stress and this is axial stress. So we, what do we say? It's uh, 12, 
fifty, right? Uh, twelve thousand five hundred. So let's say each block is um, so one block is one hundred one thousand two hundred fifty. So that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm a little pissed off. Okay. Well, in that case, let's move this to here, maybe. Okay, so, and you add this. Okay, I'm just going to stop caring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so over here, this is the, this is AH, and then zero, that is three, right, which is the air pressure and the in, in, interior pressure of the tank, right? And then we have one, two, three, four, five, right in the middle, and this is axle stress, right? Okay, perfect. So we have those two circles. We can now before we do that, uh, we let's move on to B. Is that I think you guys should remember the elements of stress. Or, or just a section of element, what we do is that we say, okay, well, here is a little, right, little section, and, uh, let's see, a, a section of the area, so we'll call it area A, and then we can draw it out, so here's direction, here's this, and here's this, right? Um, this is caused by A, right? It's going this way, and this is caused by H, right? Hoop stress, this is the axial stress, and then some shear force that we're going to decide later. Um, but right now, let's just uh, go ahead and get started. So, A is the axial stress, which is the X direction, and this is Y direction, right? So, what is X? Um, Let's see. Huh. So, okay. Oh, right. I'm so sorry. So, no, this is X and, and Y, right? And then this is the original place, but it's being turned by alpha, right? Which is 70. So, when you translate that onto a... So, this is turned... You know, this is turned 70 degrees this way, right? This is 70 degrees. This becomes uh, T, and this becomes N, right? I think that's that's what it is. Yeah. So here's gonna be a circle, and then it, but it happens between the axle and the H, right? So it, this is gonna be a circle somewhere within this one and uh, let's draw a circle for now okay well you're not to scale so Yeah, so maybe this is, well, okay. So this is the circle, and then it turned by 70 on here, so that's 140 on the circle, right? So let's draw a line. Um, we don't ex know exactly where it is, but we can, let's see. To be like somewhere around here okay well we can figure out the middle first let's do that actually as a reference point right so we can figure out what the middle is um or the average your average or right? avg equals h minus uh plus a divided by two that is going to be 
12,500 plus 6,250 uh, divided by 2, that is going to give us 3,125 3, PSI, right? So that is going to be right here. Uh, that is going to be right here, average, right? And then let's draw a line in between these two. Um, maybe a different color, maybe per R or just green. Yeah, okay. And uh, and then we can find out what R is, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, we can keep using this. Uh, what is R? R is, well, we can say H equals R plus, you know, average, right? So what is, what is R? R is, so H minus average, right? Which is, Okay, I'm sorry. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, the middle, the uh, R is uh, 3,125 PSI. And um, I did this completely wrong. Let's see, well, the equation is correct, but I think I, you know, copied down the wrong answer. So 1550 plus 20 divided by 2, that is 9. 1,375 PSI. Okay, so I have this, and now I have R, and we know that this angle over here, right, this angle is A alpha. So on top of this, yeah, it's, it's you know, 2, two alpha, right, which is 140 degrees. So if you have the middle and you have the R, um, you can figure it out where the position of this, you know, what happened to these two, right? The position of those. So let's see, we can keep using the blue one. Um, let's see, so for N, I think, well, yeah, this has to be N. Yeah, this has to be N, this has to be T, because when we shift, you know, N is always over here, T is always over here, right? N is the axis in the X direction. So in the X direction, so N is going this way and T is going this way, right? Because when we shift it backwards, N is pointing in the X direction and T is going up. Okay. So this is N over here and this is T. Right, so, okay, so what is N again? Uh, you recall this from Moore's circle, right, which is the A um, in the X, in the N direction, and uh, tau NT, right, and then the T is stress in the T direction, and tau negative NT, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we can keep going, keep going, keep going. So what is N? We find out what N is. Wait, this is H. Okay, this is H and this is N. So N is 100 and, so that would be average plus um, R times cosine of 140 degrees, right? And then T is average or, well, It's just, yeah, it's still average plus R cosine of 180 minus 140, right? But this is, remember this, you have to go, well, it's still positive. Yeah, we're doing the stress. And then there's the tau NT. Um, that is just going to be R, right? Like we can calculate this pretty easily. Uh, that is just R, which is the distance from here to here. Or... Uh, Wait, sorry, that's the tau maximum. What do we have to find? 
the normal shear and shear stress on the plane parallel. Okay, never mind. Sorry, this is max. Uh, so this equals to R. So if it's just N T, that is going to be zero, right? Because it's not moving up and down. It's on the zero. It's it's has a zero value on the tau, um, I guess. Uh, axis, right? So zero plus R times sine of 180 plus uh or plus or minus 140 or wait I, I shouldn't say that um let's see we can just find out what n is and then we can just go from there okay so sine of 140 let's just do that yeah whatever and this always gives you the upper one which is this is gonna go for n okay so what is n um you know, I hope you understand what's going on here, right? This is just trigonometry, R, right? The hypotenuse times the angle, right? It's going to give you, since it's cosine, so it's adjacent, and plus the average because it's being moved by this amount of distance, right? This value over here from here to here, the distance is, you know, stress average, right? And that, is, in the end, is going to give you uh, six. 6,981 uh, PSI and this is going to give you uh, 11,769 PSI right this is this one this is this one and then there's the R we don't have to cal calculate this but if you do want to you know, to, to demonstrate that you understand it is 3,125 PSI and then the NT this is going to be um, 200 and well 2008 uh, 2008 psi okay so initially we didn't have a shear stress right because we're in the principal principal plane right there's just no shear stress but when we turn 70 degrees 140 degrees on the circle which in reality when when we look at the stress element it's turning 70 degrees only and it will generate some shear stress right so the shear stress was calculated to be 208, uh, 2008 psi. Okay, and this is all we have to do for B. Um, let's see. I think yeah, B is is, is the hardest uh, out of all of those. Oh, sorry, the maximum implant shear stress. Okay, so this is we calculated this already. It's C because the maximum implant shear stress, which is only this stress element of that plane. So we already calculated it's within this circle. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And the last one, which is the absolute maximum shear stress. The absolute is between the maximum, the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum of this entire system, right? When we hear absolute, it's the entire system. You're treating this whole tank as a whole, which we already, is, you know, indicated on our, you know, moral circle. Stress H is the maximum, stress 3 is the minimum, 0. So we can draw another another circle that's um, I'm trying to get this aligned. Yeah, okay. And then I move this up. Let's see, da, 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 da. perfect, and this is uh, the absolute value. Uh, I'll just give it a different color. Yeah, this, this way, or maybe purple? No, this orange is nice, okay. So this is the absolute circle, moral circle for this entire system because we included three and H, and now from there, we can just calculate the absolute um, shear stress, right? The absolute shear, the maximum shear stress is the distance closest to this lane, right? Because on this moral circle, the maximum that we can get on this more this two circle that we have over here is from, you know, it's, it's this distance over here, which is the absolute max, right? Um, and that, ladies and gentlemen, it just happened to be the value of R with this bigger circle, right? Um, which is also from stress H to stress A because this one over here is also 
the absolute the absolute r right from here to here so the r uh, tell max remember to indicate it's absolute equals the r absolute right and that is going to be uh, we calculated over here and well I should indicate this one as well which the number is the value is 1000 uh, 3125 psi okay so as you can tell uh, we can definitely in, in, like include a moral circle onto this and uh, I really suggest you to watch some of the moral circle videos that made excuse me previously uh, it really strengthens your understanding and it helps you to solve like later problems a lot easier because moral circle is a very powerful tool um, just like calculus, right? The first time you encounter it is very difficult, but the more practice you do, the better you can get, the more efficient or uh, fluent that you get, and then you can solve this problem relatively easily, right? Um, this is a long problem. It takes a long time. I agree with you, but, you know, uh, the mathematics in this one is not hard yet. You know, there's no calculus. mostly just some trigonometry and be able to, like, draw as much information as you can when you're given one, right? For example, like, you sort of have to know how to figure these two equations out on yourself, right? That you have R, you have cosine, you have the average. Now, how do you find N, right? Um, so on and so forth. So yeah, uh, hopefully this video, so hopefully this was helpful. Good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.